Okay, here we go back with part three, example five. five all, find all critical points of that function. This is a chapter four thing, right? And we used to know what a critical point was. What is a critical point again? A critical point was when, remember, the derivative equals zero or the derivative is undefined. But the original function is defined. That's what a critical point is. And so let's, well, I guess we're going to have to find the derivative and then talk about what, what the potential critical points are. So let's do it. Uh, the derivative of, you're probably getting good at these now, right? You see a, ha a square root and it doesn't scare you at all because, you know, it's a half in front, subtract a half. Um, and you're not even worried about it anymore. The derivative of ln x is just 1 over x, and we could tidy this up if we wanted to, I suppose. This is 1 over 2 root x minus 1 over x. And I suppose we could try and get a, a common denominator here. Eh, why not? What would the common denominator be? Well, notice if I multiply this thing by, by root x over root x, it'll clean it up a little bit. 2 root x times root x, and then I got root x over 2x minus 1 over x. Now it's easy to see what the common denominator will be. Multiply this one by 2, and I got root x over 2 uh, over 2x, and that's the derivative. Okay, fine. I want to set for critical points. Oh, by the way, all, already I see when is this undefined. F prime at x is undefined for anything that's less than 0 because of the root, right? As soon as x is uh, underneath the root, it doesn't exist. But also, if x is 0, that doesn't work because then I'd be dividing by 0. That's no good. Uh, and for x equals 0. So it's undefined for all those values. So we got to be worried worried that if at some point um, that the function is actually exists for any of these, that we might have critical points. We might have an infinite number of critical points here, but uh, we'll see that we don't. We don't. Um, but I'm going to set this equal to zero because that's usually where we get our maximum minimum points. So set the derivative equal to zero. So then I get zero equals root x minus 2 over 2x. And as long as x is not equal to 0, I can multiply both sides. And then the 2 goes on the other side, square both sides. Uh, x equals 4. And so then I get, I can think of a, a tiny sign chart where I see at 0 and everything over here, it's undefined. Undefined, 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 and we're worried about that. But then at 4, it's 0. At 4, the derivative is 0. Um, let's take care about this undefined business. Remember, we get a critical point where the derivative is undefined, but the function itself is defined. So notice, there's a square root in the original function, so obviously all of those don't work, right? But notice, I can take the square root of 0. So maybe 0 is a critical point. Oh, no, it's not because the ln of 0 is undefined here, right? Ln of 0 is undefined. So here we can say f at 0 undefined. So f prime at 0 not a critical point. So this is the only one that I got to investigate. Is it a minimum or a maximum, what's going on? Well, I could go back to my original function and see, and, and where's my derivative? There's my derivative. And think about values in there. So here, values like 1 and 2 and 3, uh, take the square root of that and then subtract 2. Well, that's going to be negative. But 2 divided by 2 times a number in there is positive. So a negative divided by a positive, that's going to be negative in there. 
Um, and then if I take the square root of a number that's more than 4, like 5 or 7 or 9 or 12 or whatever, take the square root, subtract 2, that's going to be positive. The bottom is going to be positive. Positive divided by a positive, that's going to be a positive. And again, if you have trouble with these sign charts, don't be afraid to just pick a value and sub it in. Use your clunk away at your calculator. You know, um, it's I think it's a little waste of time because um, it takes a lot of time to put it into your calculator. But if you just think about positives and neg negatives, it goes fast. All right. So what's this this critical point? Well, I've got the function is decreasing, zero, and increasing. It's a minimum, right? So a minimum. Minimum occurs at 4 and then f at 4. f at 4 is some awful thing, right? Because f at x was the square root of 4 minus the ln of 4, which this is 2, but this is crazy, right? So whatever that value is. Mr. Restall, would we ever have to graph things? Critical points makes me think of graphing. Would we have to ha ever have to graph that? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can guess that that's probably coming sometime soon, isn't it? All right. Well, have fun with your homework. I think trig derivatives are next.